I lived on three continents. Um, I started in South Africa, uh, Cape Town, and then uh, moved to Austria, uh, where I finished high school in Vienna. My dad was Austrian, my mom was South African, and then came to the States for uh, university. Uh, Michigan, California, and then Colorado, where I met my husband uh, as a graduate student, and then ended up here 16 years ago. I enjoy teaching because I, I uh, enjoy learning and passing on some of that information to someone else and having them see the same excitement that I do, that's very gratifying. You get the sense of awe for the creator when you see how much design there is and, and how uh, complicated and complex things are all the way down into the atom. And those chemical reactions, they've got to work You've got to have the right enzymes in place, the right coenzymes, the right substrate, the right temperature, the right pH. Everything has to fit. And studying creation, I think it enhances your faith. Her classes are academically challenging, but really what she models in that is not that the material is not the most important thing. Rather, it's, it's what you do with it I would say that if there was a model for a extraordinarily talented, gifted Christian woman who's still graceful and kind and yet at the same time extraordinarily competent, Dr. Cobal would be that model. She's someone the students come up to me and say, I really don't like chemistry, but I love Dr. Cobal. Learning from Dr. Cobal has kind of taught me a new way to look at the world. She has just played such an instrumental role in really figuring out kind of not just what I want to do, but who I am and um, what role science plays in my life. I've been married for 26, going on 27 years. Uh, I have three daughters. I enjoy gardening. We've got a house in Arvada, and uh, every Christmas I have to climb up the tree in the front and put the lights up. So. Um, it's the best climbing tree at the moment in our garden, but I enjoy climbing trees. <laughs> the, the thing that I would hope for my students is that they come away with a sense of awe for the Creator by having studied details of, of His handiwork, and um, that hard work is still part of the deal. Even if God calls you to a career, it doesn't mean that He doesn't require work, um, and I think excellent work. God deserves our most excellent work.